Back in Baton Rouge, Matt Sanks, Donnie Brooks, Seawolves lead LSU 2-0 here in game two of this Baton Rouge Super Regional. And uh, coach, your pitcher Tyler Johnson so far has not given up a base hit. Tyler's doing uh, usually what Tyler Johnson does. He's uh, doing a great job of pounding the zone, letting us play defense behind him. He's, he's, as you probably can pick up on camera, he's got great movement and he just competes his butt off. So Tyler's uh, doing an awesome job for us. Coach, how do you deal with all your, your boys have been through here? Last night, come back this morning, you lose on a walk-off single, and now you're here battling these weather conditions as well. What's this been like for you? Well, I think it's very similar to what we went through last weekend in the regional, and, and uh, they found a way to get through that. Um, they're, they're a tough-minded group. Their mindset is uh, to do whatever it takes, and uh, that's kind of where we're at. Matt Sank, head coach is Tony Burke. Matt, thanks very much. Okay, thank you. And, Doug, here we go. These guys know how to stay loose. Well, they have a lot of rally. I mean, they can break out the Staying Alive dance, the Tyler Johnson workout. Uh, they have caps stacked on caps. They have caps inside out. I'll tell you what. They, 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 they got to find a way. They were, during that long rain delay yesterday, they played the Bee Gees Staying Alive. And Tyler Johnson, the pitcher, there he is, was out in front of the third base dugout. And he did a routine that would have made John Travolta proud. <laughs> I mean, he really brought it, and it, the crowd were on their feet cheering him. He did a whole routine to the whole length of the song, and it was, it was a riot. Yeah, great rhythm. I mean, he's on, I think he's a pro. He's got some uh, dancing shoes in his closet he somewhere. He sure does, boy. But so, so far, he's uh, been an ace pitcher here. No hits through four, and he's got a 2 nothing lead. As we get set to start the top of the fifth, they're busy putting some dirt down on that infield. We talked about the bases. It's uh, around the bases, notably in between the bases is where the real issues are. And Ray, hey, guys, how you doing? There they are. Hello, Long Island. Oh, well, we talked about that symbol that you can see they have that kind of OK symbol. And we found out it is their goals all in one. So we go the pinky is winning uh, their, their conference. Yeah, that's not the OK sign. It no. actually has a very deep meaning, right? Yeah, that's right. Pinky is the conference. The ring finger is the regional, the middle finger is the super regional, and now the O's for Omaha. So I guess they put the index finger up when they win Omaha, too. That's pretty good. They put a lot of thought into that. It's, it's not just the low vista that the Marlins do or the, or the, the antlers or everything. They, they put a lot of thought into this. It's pretty yeah, deep. That's, that's very deep. You want to have a psychology guy. It's very for, layered. For head coach, I guess that's. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. This is yesterday. There's your pitcher, Tyler Johnson, right now on the mound, just keeping it loose. You can see him singing to himself. This was Tyler yesterday. You have to picture in your mind the BG staying alive. He put on a whole routine to keep everybody loose, and it was very entertaining. Oh, Tyler Johnson. There he is. The senior from Chatsworth, California, and he's doing a heck of a job here against this LSU team. So far, he's got a 2-0 lead and he's not given up a base hit. NCAA Baseball Super Regionals continue on the ESPN Network's